Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Kerry Ann. I am a qualified physiotherapist, but I also hold a master's in global health. I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a wife, I'm a mother of two, and I create content here on YouTube. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you guys so much. Um, I'm nearing 1000 subscribers. So please guys support the channel and share and get, you know, more people onto this platform and supporting your girl. You know, um, right now guys, I've got some things to talk about because the Chinese are not looking good in the eyes of the world right now. They lied about the coronavirus um, when it started in Wuhan. They lied about the death toll. So that's the number of people who actually died from the virus. They've come out and they have given the correct figures. Recently, um, what went viral on social media is the way that they were mistreating Africans in China, like literally serious discrimination. It was unbelievable. Yes, we're not shocked. Many people will say, oh, but we're not shocked. Yes, we're not shocked about what's going on. We know that black people have been treated badly for many, many years, but it doesn't mean that we have to put up with it. We can speak up and make our voices heard and basically push for a change to happen. You know, um, what is coming out of South Africa right now is absolutely disgraceful. Disgraceful. Guess what, guys? Guess what? So apparently two stowaways, it, um, they're from Tanzania. One is um, 20 years old and the other is 30, apparently. Now, they were discovered on the Indian Ocean on a cargo ship. The captain and the crew members decided to makeshift a raft out of some drums and ropes and put, um, give these t um, Tanzanians um, two life jackets, some water and basically thrown them overboard in the Indian Ocean into shark infested waters. Now, what happened is that these um, two guys were on the sh um, raft for three days and two nights, I believe, three days and two nights. Um, so, and they washed up on the shores in um, South Africa, people called the police and the ambulance were called. These guys were suffering from hunger and hypothermia. They had no food whatsoever. Now, um, apparently these guys were able to identify that the people on the ship were um, Chinese. Um, and so that made it kind of easy for the police to find the captain and the crew members. These people were arrested and charged for attempted murder. But guys, listen to this. They were only fined between two, uh, 2,000 and 4,000 pounds. Can you imagine? They were only fined. Literally, this is black lives, you know. They were only fined, you know. This is ridiculous. Fine, that's it for attempted murder. To make matters worse. The lawyer apparently was like, if if um, these people wanted to kill these two Tanzanian guys, they wouldn't have made shift a raft and give them a life jacket and two bottles of water. Hang on. That's just not acceptable. Not acceptable at all. Now, according to the law, if stowaways are found on, um, on board, they shouldn't be mistreated basically they need to be they need to be landed at the next port of call and whichever country would deal with that but the expenses would fall upon the ship company now guys i need to know what you guys are thinking about this please just leave a comment in the comment section please don't forget to like comment and share i am also on instagram um, live la voyage i'll leave a, um i'll leave the details but please um don't forget to subscribe if you're new like comment share again guys thank you so much bye